decided to make a video on fertilizers. Basically, I'm thinking about using EI, and I've bought some. So, what I've got here is I've got chemicals, potassium phosphate, manganese, uh, magnesium sulfate, potassium nitrate, and then also chelated trace element. Also, so I'll lay them down. You might be wondering why am I even thinking about doing these sort of fertilizers? Um, because you have to dose two different types, it's not just an all in one. Basically, in my tanks at the moment, you can see I've got green spot algae. This is a bit of a quite a big problem for a lot of people in their tanks because generally um, in their water supply they don't have enough well what this is is phosphate um, and what I'm what my aim is to do is actually make up for that and double that dosage so I do fully believe in all in ones but that's if you've got the right water quality my water is a bit bad it's quite hard and uh, it doesn't really tend to work out so can do is I can cater my ferts around my aquarium and my water rather than using a fertilizer that's made for everyone but that's okay if you've got perfect water to suit that fertilizer so yeah so we've got this here um, this shows you how to dose everything <clears throat> I'm not going to be following it by the tea today because um, at the moment it says four teaspoons of potassium nitrate one tablespoon or teaspoon of potassium phosphate and six teaspoons of magnesium sulfate and then that's topped off with 500 milliliters of water so uh, I'm not going to be following that completely I'm going to double the dosage of um, phosphate in this this should help me get for my macro solution it should help me get rid of that green spot algae now uh, it's not going to happen overnight it's not a straight up cure. So we've got nitrate, phosphate and sulphate. So we'll first start off with the nitrate. So this is probably one of the big bags. I haven't told you just yet, but you can probably get about 16 bottles of these uh, out of 20 pounds worth of a, of a kit. It will cost you less because when you refill your kit, it'll, you'll just have the chemicals rather than the bottles as well. Um, but yeah, you can, I, th I think I think it cost me twenty seven pounds or twenty eight pounds for this whole kit. So we've got one teaspoon here, and what we also need is a funnel. I've just made a paper one up just for this, so essentially you can pop off your child safely, pop that there, and then you don't get any powder anywhere. So. As to the instructions, it says four teaspoons of potassium nitrate. So what I'll do is that's one teaspoon, two teaspoon, three. So we're going to keep that one the same as what they advise. Then I'm going to move on to the phosphate. So this is what you get in in one bottle. Usually you'd only put one spoon. So that's what you probably should start off out with. But in my case, I know with all in ones, I'm always falling short on the uh, on, on the phosphate. So I'm going to double that. Finishes up with magnesium sulfate. So you have six teaspoons of this. So this is quite 
Yeah, still it looked yeah. second put it to one side and we'll move on to the micro as well so on the micro as it says here one tablespoon of the trace elements so uh, you got 250 grams of this and it's just one teaspoon so we've got a micro here got a funnel Teaspoon measurement, a nice scoop of that, leveled off just like so. Put it back on, that's good. Put that to one side, just make sure there's nothing left in it like there was last time. And we can put the lid back on that for a time being. So like all of these, all they require is 500 ml of water. I'd say just get some uh, lukewarm water, a bit half boiled, half cold. Get a micro solution, macro, sorry. Put it off. You can just get your jug, 500 millilitres, I've measured it to and we'll just pull that straight on in. Nice and easy. Just so comes around there. You can see everything's all still in the bottom. And all you need to do is wipe that lid on. Make sure they're both nice and tight so we don't get no leaks. All you need to do is just give it a good shake. Make sure it all gets mixed in. And what I'd definitely do is I'd leave this. I'd leave this for a whole night like it says as well. Leave it to dissolve overnight so it's all in the water. Ready to go for when you're going to dose it into your aquarium. Um, it's important you do this because I think it, it could mean if you don't do it you could overdose. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, I'll just go and grab another another jug for the uh, micro and then do that. So we've got this now, another 500 millilitres of water. Whip that top off like we did last time. Put it to one side. Uh, so, measured it exactly 500 mils so we don't get anything wrong so it's all nicely in looks like that's already dissolved <laughs> put that lid on oh no it hasn't and then oh like that, make sure you've got it all nice and tight on so you don't get any water anywhere. So that's it, these are the both of the solutions your macro, your micro, you do some on alternate days. Um, like I've said, I've, I've doubled the potassium in this in this bottle. This is purely just because I struggle, I struggle with uh, green spot algae, and it's quite common that it can be due to not having enough phosphates in your water column so hopefully that should help us out <clears throat> if you're after any other bits of advice with these products you can either comment in the comment just comment section below ask me anything you like 
I'm not not guaranteed to know everything, but I know a person that does, and that's like Chris Stevens. He works on the Planted Tank Keeping UK uh, Facebook forum. He is very good, and he will help you out all the time. He does with me, and this is how I found out about these. So yeah, give give that a go. Um, might be like, oh, doesn't it get a bit much dosing? Because you've got a dose 10 mils per 50 litres. I've got a hundred litre tank. This will be 20, 20 mils a day, so what do you not want to make that any easier for yourself? And yeah, use one of these dosing pumps. I've already got one at the moment, uh, and this is a brand new one. And I'll just hook that up to either one of these, and I'll have them dosing on alternate days to make sure I keep by the instructions. And then one day a week, you have a rest day. And then one day that week you have a water change day, 50%. So yeah, like I was saying, any uh, advice that you might need, just stick a comment in the section below or get in contact with Chris at Planet Tank Keeping UK. So thanks for watching guys and uh, let me know what you think to the video. It's a bit of a different one, speaking as well. So yeah, brilliant. Thanks for watching. Cheers.